This has been an emotional case for many in Hampton Roads. And News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer continues our coverage tonight. So, Zach, you talked with folks in the community who've been searching for the little boy. What's their reaction to the police chief's remarks? Well, good evening, Kurt. There's been mixed reaction as to how police handled this situation, but one common factor remains, and that is the drive to find Cody, with many putting up flyers like this around the area and also adding to this tribute right behind me near his home. Very upsetting. For two weeks. A lot of tears. Janice Smith. A lot of praying. Has had faith. Just believing, you know, that... Uh, He's all right wherever he is. Living in the same neighborhood as four-year-old Cody Bigsby since he was reported missing two weeks ago. This is a little teddy bear that's very warm. She's made daily visits here. Help Cody reach out to him, you help keep him warm. Dropping off items and prayers. And I cry all the way back home. He's so young. And, and, and can't take care of himself. He needs help wherever he is. I hope he's like somewhere near home. Tiara Jimerson is one of Cody's okay. friends and a volunteer searcher. I pray every day that they find that little boy. For a few days, our search teams have been organizing and have been coming out here. Mahogany Walden is a volunteer searcher. Any area within the one mile or two mile radius of where Cody has gone missing. Hitting the ground running from the start during what she calls an emotionally hard time. So many of us are concerned, we're upset, we're frustrated. Monday, she and others learned from Hampton Police about the department mishandling a request by Cody's father, Corey Bixby, for an attorney while being interviewed. She tells me she and others plan to put more pressure on police and local officials, asking for more meetings with police and pushing for complete transparency and answers. We have had boots on the ground searching, but we also just want to apply that pressure to make sure that missing people like Cody are not forgotten. Meanwhile, Smith believes the attention shouldn't be on the police's action, but making sure Corey speaks up. If you're telling the truth, okay, then you don't have to change anything, okay? You could just spit the truth out. And the search for Cody. I'm going to keep on praying and keep on trusting God that that, that baby is going to be found. And Kurt, tonight we're also hearing from the Hampton NAACP regarding this matter. The group saying in a statement that HBD must conduct a thorough internal investigation and make sure any officer who did not follow proper procedure or helped cover up the issue is properly disciplined immediately. We're live in Hampton. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.